Rwanda versus Kenya, which country is best for expats? The Republic of Rwanda is a landlocked nation in Central Africa's Great Rift Valley, where the Southeast African continent and the African Great Lakes region meet. Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo all border Rwanda, which is a few degrees south of the equator. Rwanda's natural beauty, with its lush green hills and breathtaking scenery, is appreciated by expats and digital nomads who call the country home. They also like the warm and inviting locals, affordable housing, and first-rate infrastructure. A significant lure for expats and digital nomads is the nation's dedication to safety and security. The absence of nightlife and entertainment choices is a con that some expats and digital nomads find to be something of a detriment. On the other hand, Kenya has it everything, from the modern capital Nairobi to the breathtaking white sand beaches along the Mombasa coast. You may anticipate enjoying all of this and much more if you are an expat living in Kenya. Kenya consistently rates as one of the greatest countries in Africa for expats, one of the top safari destinations in the world, and one of the most affordable nations in Africa in terms of cost of living. Hello there! In today's video, we are doing a comparison between Kenya and Rwanda to find out which of them is better for expats to live in. Stay up with us as we discover the best place for you. Demography of Rwanda Rwanda has one of the highest population densities in Africa, with 445 people per square kilometer. According to historians like Gerard Prunier, the population density may have contributed to the 1994 genocide in some way. With a few significant towns and a largely rural population, the country is evenly distributed with homes. The savanna terrain in the former province of Umutara and Ekajira National Park in the east are the only sparsely populated areas of the nation. The main city, Kigali, with a population of about a million people. Its infrastructure development is being hampered by its quickly growing population. In accordance with the 2012 census, Kisenyi, which is close to Lake Kivu and the Congolese capital of Goma, is the second largest city, with a population of 126,000. The National Institute of Statistics of Rwanda pegged Rwanda's population at 11,262,564 as of 2015 with a projection of 13,246,394 by 2023. 10,515,973 people were counted in the population in 2012. The population is youthful. According to the 2012 census, 53.4% of people were between the ages of 16 and 64 and 43.3% of people were under the age of 15. Demography of Kenya In January 2017, there were roughly 48 million people living in Kenya. Due to the country's enormous population expansion during the past century, from 2.9 million to 40 million people, 73% of the population is under 30. Kabira, one of the biggest slums in the world, is located in Nairobi. There are thought to be between 170,000 and 1 million residents of the shanty town. Around 500,000 people live at the UNHCR compound in the northern city of Dadaab. Many of Africa's major ethno-racial and linguistic groupings are represented in Kenya's diversified population. The number of ethnic categories and subcategories recorded in the country's census has increased dramatically over time, rising from 42 in 1969 to more than 120 in 2019. Despite the lack of an official list of ethnic groups in Kenya, this number has increased significantly over time. 60% or 30% of the population are Bantus or Nalotes. Arabs, Indians, and Europeans all make up a small ethnic minority, as do Cushitic communities. Economy of Rwanda the 1994 genocide severely harmed Rwanda's economy because of the high death toll, crumbling infrastructure, looting, and disregard for vital cash crops. This significantly reduced the GDP and weakened the nation's capacity to draw in both domestic and foreign investment. Since then, the economy has grown stronger, 
the nominal GDP per capita is projected to reach $909.09 in 2022, up from $127 in 1994. China, Germany, and the United States are three important export destinations. The Rwandan franc, which is used as the country's official currency and is administered by the National Bank of Rwanda, was about 910 francs to one US dollar in December 2019. In 2007, Rwanda became a member of the East African community. Since then, it has ratified a plan for the seven member countries to create a common East African shilling through monetary union. Since there aren't many natural resources in Rwanda, the majority of the population relies on subsistence farming with basic equipment. Agriculture made up an estimated 32.5% of GDP in 2014, and it employed an estimated 90% of the working population. Simple farming methods are used, along with narrow pieces of land and sloping terrain, due in part to the resettlement of displaced persons. Farm sizes and food production have been declining since the middle of the 1980s. Despite Rwanda's abundant ecosystem, imports of food are frequently necessary since food production cannot keep up with population expansion. The situation has improved recently, though, because to the expansion of agriculture. Economy of Kenya Over the past few decades, Kenya's macroeconomic outlook has consistently seen strong development, largely as a result of significant expenditures in information and communication technology, as well as infrastructure projects for the transportation sectors of road, rail, air, and water. However, a large portion of this growth has been funded by cash flows that have been diverted from the microeconomic pockets of ordinary Kenyans through targeted monetary and fiscal measures, combined with poor management, corruption, massive theft of public funds, over-legislation, and an ineffective judiciary, leading to decreased incomes in common households and small businesses, unemployment, underemployment, and general unhappiness across multiple sectors. Kenya is ranked 25th out of 178 nations in the 2019 Fragile States Index, which places it in the alert category. The country's macroeconomic metrics were updated in 2014, which resulted in a rise in GDP and elevated it to low middle income status. The Kenyan government is financially broke and finding it difficult to satisfy its financial responsibilities, despite pledges to the contrary from the government. The most severely impacted are junior government employees at both the national and local levels, who have gone up to six months or more without receiving their monthly pay, benefits, or deductions. Data on the state of the economy from various government organizations is contradictory, with official statistics failing to take into account record inflation and extremely high costs for food and other essential items. Culture of Rwanda Rwandan rites, festivals, social gatherings, and storytelling all include music and dance. The most well-known traditional dance consists of three parts. The Intor, or Dance of the Heroes, performed by men, the Umashajiriro, or cow dance, performed by women, and the drumming, which is usually done by males on ingoma drums. The National Ballet is the most well-known dancing company. President Habiyaramana founded it in 1974, and it now performs both domestically and abroad. Music has historically been passed down orally, with different social groupings having their own distinct styles. Drums are very important, and the royal drummers held a prestigious position in the king's court, or Mwami. Drummers perform in ensembles of varied sizes, often seven to nine players. The nation's expanding popular music scene is influenced by American, Congolese, and music from the African Great Lakes. Hip-hop, which combines dancehall, rap, reggae, R&B, and dance pop, is the most widely listened to genre. While traditional arts and crafts are produced all across the nation, the majority of them started out as useful goods rather than just decorative ones. Particularly popular are woven bowls and baskets, especially those made in the Agassiz basket style. Produced in the southeast of Rwanda, Imigongo is a distinctive cow dung art with a history that dates back to the time when the area was a part of the independent Disaka kingdom. The feces is combined with variously colored natural soils and painted into ridge patterns to create geometric shapes. Wood carving and pottery are some further crafts. 
Locally obtainable materials are used in traditional building designs. The most prevalent are circular or rectangular mud homes with grass-thatched roofs, known as nankatsi. The government has started an initiative to swap these out for more contemporary materials, such as corrugated iron. Culture of Kenya Kenya is not an ethnically homogenous nation. Kenyans are predominantly made up of 13 ethnic groups, with a total of 27 other smaller groupings. The vast majority of Kenyans are members of Bantu tribes, such as the Kikuyu, Luya, and Kamba. Nilotic tribes like the Lu, Kalenjin, Masai, and Turkana are also present. The Turkana, Rendil, and Samburu are Hamitic people. About 13% of the population is non-African, including European, Arab, and Indian. Freedom of religion is guaranteed by the Kenyan constitution. 10% of the population is Muslim, 10% of the population is Christian, and there are a minority of Hindus and Sikhs. The majority of the population holds to traditional African beliefs, which are frequently animist. Muslims tend to be concentrated in the eastern coastal regions, whereas Christians tend to be concentrated in the west and central parts of the country. The majority of Kenyans combine conventional religion with their native beliefs. Kenyans, like the majority of Africans, place a strong premium on showing respect and reverence to their departed ancestors. This isn't exactly ancestor worship. Rather, it's the conviction that after someone passes away, their spirit continues to exist and has to be respected. The idea is that a person doesn't truly pass away until their loved ones stop remembering them. Since they are in a state of limbo and are closer to God than the living, it is believed that one's ancestors can affect the course of one's life. So that his spirit can reside in the kid, they may give offerings to them or name a child after one. Respecting ancestors is said to keep harmony among members of the immediate family, the extended family, and the clan or tribe. Tourism in Rwanda The breathtaking landscape and welcoming locals of Rwanda, often known as the Land of a Thousand Hills, provide one-of-a-kind experiences in one of the most amazing nations in the world. Its volcanoes, highland forests, and expansive plains are home to amazing fauna, giving it a remarkable biodiversity. There is so much more to see and do than just view the gorgeous gorillas, which draw tourists from all over the world. In addition to being hospitable and friendly, Rwandans are respectful, considerate, and dedicated to the idea of progress from the bottom up. From the ancient kingdom to the present, inventiveness is something to be honored, whether it manifests itself in folk dancing, distinctive architecture, or artistic creations. The Albertine Rift is a portion of the Great Rift Valley that extends west of Rwanda. It is abundant with life and home to numerous rare indigenous species. Numerous vibrantly colored birds, orchids, and butterflies coexist with chimpanzees, golden monkeys, and other primates. And even that is just the beginning. Rwanda is dedicated to preserving the existence of these famous species within the four national parks as their guardians. With a clean and green perspective, we are always trying to make sure we can live in sustainable harmony with our environment. We prohibited plastic bags in 2008, and as a result of efforts made by every community, our lands may be the cleanest in all of Africa. 10% of the money made from gorilla, safari, and other visitor permits, together with park fees, is used in collaboration with local communities to improve lives. Tourism in Kenya Following agriculture, tourism is Kenya's second largest source of foreign exchange earnings. Information about tourism in Kenya is kept up to date by the Kenya Tourism Board. Photo safaris in the 60 national parks and game reserves are the main tourist attractions. The Maasai Mara's wildebeest migration, which is regarded as the seventh wonder of the world, as well as the historical mosques and colonial era forts in Mombasa, Malindi, and Lamu, as well as the Great Rift Valley and Mount Kenya's snow-capped peak, as well as the tea and coffee plantations in Kiricho and Thika, as well as the beaches along the Swahili coast in the Indian Ocean, are additional draws. Cuisine in Rwanda The basic foods of the region, such as bananas, plantains, known as ibitoke, lentils, sweet potatoes, beans, and cassava, maniac, are the foundation of Rwandan cuisine. The average Rwandan eats meat only a few times per month. 
Tilapia is well liked by people who live close to lakes and have access to fish. The potato is particularly well liked and is supposed to have been brought to Rwanda by German and Belgian colonialists. Eaten throughout the African Great Lakes, Ugali, also known locally as Abugari or Umatsima, is a paste made from cassava or maize and water to make a porridge-like consistency. Isambi is a dish made from mashed cassava leaves that goes well with potatoes, ugali, dried fish, and rice. Typically, lunch is a buffet called as melange that includes the foods mentioned above and occasionally meat. When dining out in the evening, brochettes, which are typically made from goat, though occasionally also from tripe, beef, or fish, are the most popular dish. Cuisine in Kenya The diverse cuisine of Kenya is not summed up by a single dish. Every community has its own native cuisine. According to the region, staples include maize and other grains like millet and sorghum that are consumed with a variety of meats and vegetables. Ugali, Sukuma Wiki, and Nyamachoma are the three foods that are consumed by everyone in Kenya. Kenya's seaside food is distinctive and well-liked across the nation. Sukuma Wiki, which translates to to push the weak in Swahili, is a straightforward dish that is typically made with greens like kale or collards, but can also be prepared with cassava leaves, sweet potato leaves, or pumpkin leaves. Because it is frequently consumed to get through the weak or stretch the weak, its Swahili name derives from this fact. Grilled meat, or nyamachoma, or kukuchoma, as it is often known, is considered an unofficial national cuisine and is typically made with goat or sheep. Typically, it is prepared over an open flame. It is typically consumed with mchicha, shredded spinach, maharag, bean stew, and ugali and kachambari. On Christmas Day, it is served as a customary supper. Ingoko, chicken, with ugali, is a favorite dish among the Luya people who live in the country's western area. Nightlife in Rwanda Young folks and older people alike enjoy going out to nightclubs in Rwanda. Rwanda boasts a variety of pubs for any taste, from posh urban establishments to cozy rural establishments. The majority of nightclubs in Rwanda feature live music, DJs, themed evenings, and special events. Most nightclubs have a vibrant, upbeat environment because patrons come to party and dance the night away. The majority of nightclubs in Rwanda serve a selection of local and foreign beers, wines, and spirits. Some clubs also offer small meals and snacks. The capital city of Rwanda, Kigali, is home to some of the country's top nightclubs. Popular locations including Phoenix Club and Primus Club, which are renowned for amazing music, cool atmosphere, and enough drinks. Nightlife in Kenya The claims are accurate. Of all the African countries on the continent, Kenya offers the best clubs and nightlife. You've probably heard the saying Kenya is a partying nation before. Whatever you're looking for, Kenya's varied nightlife is sure to meet your requirements. The scene encompasses everything from upscale dining establishments to legendary bars, as well as everything in between, and offers live music at many venues. Until you visit our clubs, you cannot say that you have really experienced what Kenya is all about. Come dance the night away with the locals at numerous discos. You'll forget all your problems and let loose thanks to the kind character of Kenyan party goers. Enjoy what will be the best party of your life while sipping the famed Tusker beer. Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, is a sophisticated party city after sunset. As you dance the night away and take in the starry night sky in Mombasa, the country's lifeline on the coast, you will have an amazing evening. Comparison is done based on an individual's perspective of what they prefer in a particular country. It is your choice to make after going through the various sectors, mentioned to determine which is preferable to the other. Do well to leave a comment and let us know which country you believe is best for you to move to as an expat. If you learned anything after watching this video, do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more interesting updates.